I came into office uh, uh, under very challenging circumstances. Uh, those circumstances uh, are still uh, there. I came into office when uh, uh, my county uh, had uh, challenges in terms of pending bills. Uh, the most critical uh, pending bills uh, were in the areas of medical uh, supplies. We were indebted to KEMSA, uh, the one that supplies most essential drugs, to a tune that was exceeding 110 million shillings. We also had a needs at that particular time, so we paid off that and uh, we continued uh, uh, ordering for additional medicine or medical equipment and supplies and uh, being available to pay our people. Uh, when I came in, I also came in, and that is still a challenge, when the staffing levels uh, had hit the peak, we could not uh, recruit more staff because we had hit the peak that is permitted by regulation. A certain percentage of our expenditure must be chargeable in what is allowed as a monument. So we had hit that peak. The morale of the staff, our staff, was very low. And you know, staff is very key uh, to the performance of a county. And uh, most of them uh, did not uh, have um, leadership or commitment to serve the people of Migori. Now our staff's morale is back. They receive their payments or their salaries in time, and uh, their capacity is being built. We had um, a county public service board that was uh, very compromised and was uh, immoral and uh, irregular in their conduct. Uh, luckily, they were removed by the county assembly, but we are still caught up in legal processes in court, which we think will be over soon. And when we have, uh, as we have now, a free county public service board to act on our behalf, uh, we should be able to improve uh, the uh, morale of our staff and give them capacity to work for our people. I also came into office um, when uh, the national government was not releasing uh, monies uh, that are required for uh, services to our people. Uh, you will find that as we speak today, uh, we have not received money for September, uh, for October and for November. The services required by our people are the services that are required immediately. I want to say that uh, what the Deputy President said the other day in Mombasa, that uh, they have set aside billions of shillings to counties, is just hot air. The Deputy President is a person who does not even believe what he says. He does not uh, speak uh, as uh, a responsible public servant. He is uh, one of the people whose mantra is that uh, Kenya is a private company and that uh, those who have shares are the ones who should get services. I want to tell you that the deputy president is irresponsible and he does not behave or speak as a person worthy of that title. No county in this nation, including Migori, has received a single cent uh, for El Nino purposes. No Migori County and other 13 counties have not received a cent for normal services, both development and recurrent, for the month of September, October, and November, and the people need those services. So we are struggling as a county to pay our pending bills. We are struggling as a county uh, to continue being attractive to other partners who want to partner with us uh, in promoting productivity. So the Deputy President and what he says, I want to uh, say that the coalition he belongs to is a coalition of people who do not tell the truth. And it is very shameful uh, to hold that office and you are not truthful in what you are saying. He goes to Mombasa and incites uh, people of Mombasa against uh, the government, uh, governor of Mombasa, that the governor of Mombasa uh, should be able to handle disaster. Mombasa, uh, just like Migori, is a county that does not have a large budget for disaster. Uh, most of the money is left with the national government. When you talk like that, 
and you talk in Mombasa, I think your agenda is suspect. Uh, I also want to indicate that uh, when I came to office, uh, most of our facilities uh, in health sector were run down. Most of our roads uh, had not uh, been uh, graveled or marammed and they were not motorable. So in the last uh, one year, we have uh, opened up roads, uh, marammed and graded uh, more than 3,000 kilometers of roads. Uh, we have uh, actually had a program of facelifting uh, our health facilities and we have ensured that the basic medical supplies are available in our medical facilities. We have just com uh, concluded, uh, you know, enumerating our uh, farmers and we have over 180,000 uh, households that are depend on farming. Uh, which uh, takes us to about 700,000 um, uh, farmers in Migori County. We have uh, a major plan uh, to increase food security in Migori County in the areas of maize, in the areas of rice, in the areas of other cash crops uh, like sugarcane, uh, fruits, uh, and many things. Uh, I must say that uh, there is uh, improved productivity in the areas of agriculture uh, aquaculture and fisheries and also livestock keeping. The challenge I see is with the market. The challenge I see is with the cost of inputs to sustain the agricultural sector. This is why instead of politicking day and night the politics of the national government, uh, what they should uh, preoccupy themselves with is job creation for people who look for white collar and blue collar jobs, but also um, a job creation for farmers by ensuring that farming is an activity that pays. Mm. Your Excellency, I think uh, this is quite insightful and uh, we have shortage of time. But uh, as a student of the Alliance High School, what vision do you have for the people of Migori? Just in one second. The people of Migori, and I want to plead with them, let us put governance first and join ODM because change, development and sustainability is hinged on good governance. And what takes a nation down, what takes a county down is when other people, you do not come together, prioritize governance, put in place an administration that will change your lives. So I have a vision uh, for the people of Migori that once we get our governance right, that involves the people in uh, generating programs uh, and that runs their political affairs fairly, we will have a good county, we will have a good Migori.